All right, well, she was an 80s pop singer who called it quits to live the simple life and raise a family, but now she's back in a major way, singing Wouldn't You Like to Know from her album Me Time. Ladies and gents, give it up for Lisa Matassa. <laughs> Just a man. All right, well, you just heard her sing, and now we're going to get up close and personal with Lisa Matassa. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Thanks you sounded me. so great. Thank I you love so it. Much. And, and well, we got to start by giving a little history, because this is not your first foray into the music scene. No. Uh, back in the 80s, you did, had a couple of uh, chart toppers, right? A couple of hits? On the dance chart, yes. On the dance chart? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what were the names of those singles? Uh, I've got the hots for you. Right. <laughs> Rock Me Baby. Uh, I think. Uh, I, I like your title so far, like Lisa. <laughs> um, and, and, and so then, you know, you kind of. Uh, decide you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna step back from all this and you started a family am I right well yeah I did that only because uh, it was really on for me the record label actually folded shortly thereafter okay. and I really never stopped singing I continued to sing and I met my husband and right. started raising kids and I decided you know what uh, the music I really wanted to do was country and at the time in New York it wasn't uh, really prominent it was really freestyle dance at the time so right. it was I it took time to write music and raise a family and and now the timing is perfect for for what I want to do and that's country rock and I saw some of the pictures of the old you because you went by Lisa Lynn yes and uh, you my lady are like a fine wine so, <laughs> all you. good there uh, but you know I think too you, it takes time to mature into yourself and know yeah. that you have that artistic voice because like you said I guess you're sort of admitting back in the day you sort of went with what was popular exactly. against what your gut instinct told you to do sure I mean I was classically trained as an opera singer when I was eight years old wow. so I studied that for five years so but I was influenced by all different types of music and as I got older rock came into the picture, but I always loved country music because I grew up in South Florida, actually, in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I love that. And I love that you call your music Long Island 
Island country. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think yeah. of Long, uh, Long Island and country synonymously. No, no, and you know, it's funny because a lot of people do not, do, really don't realize that there is so much more country music outside of Nashville. It's true. And it's really taken over in New York. Especially Lisa, you are taking over. We got more information on our, on our website. Go there.